We're a thousand miles from Cumberland. We have traveled the land and sea. For as long as we Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here. Just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. And here we have Bordeaux against Schalke. I'm Peter Drury, and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. Since Benedict Hubedes, a centre back by trade, but he's shown the versatility to look comfortable at fullback too. An organiser and a fully paid-up member of the uh, the commitment club. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Placil looks to slip it through. Get that clear. the channel danger averted for now it was all about the quality of the delivery and they come away with nothing it's a good run down the right where could this lead tries a through ball and he's cut it out Hervidas it clear did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger now it's Huntelaar this game is in need of some excitement it needs help and it's down to the creative and striking talent to up their game and, and give this crowd something to cheer about Seal. Oh, good interception to the keeper and go again. Gets it upfield. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Now the pass. Matija Nastasic does well to read it and intercepts. Until half time, and it is still goalless. Where to from here? And it's long and forward. Now here's the through ball. And he's there to hoof it away. Still on the right now, what's on? And he's whipped it in low. He's there to get rid. And it's the whistle for half time. And we are up to the break. Well, that half time dressing room now should be full of encouragement from the way they finished the first 45 minutes. They must restart with the same level of intensity, though. Any drop, and they're going to let this opposition off the hook. They really have to make it count now. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. We're underway again. So deadlock still as the second half begins. Comes 
sliding in. Passes it through. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. And if you did take an extended half-time break, you'll be relieved to hear that you have missed nothing. Looks like a good ball through. Out towards the flank. To report from an attacking perspective, Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yes, nil-nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot-shy nature of this contest, but I'm not giving up on it. There's plenty energy on the pitch, not to give up hope just yet. Tulelo passes it through. Bordeaux haven't made a substitution yet. Stasic. immediate danger <laughs> looks to slip it through it is a corner good chance and the referee's pulled play back and has booked him for the original offence come loose and the chase is on he's out on the left now it's intriguingly poised for me and players are thinking well should we stay or, or should we go I'd like to think fortune favors the brave and I'm in it goes and that could well be the winner Yeah, look, let me tell you that when you're receiving a ball from behind, when you're on the move like that, it can be very tricky to negotiate. But technically, I think he got that right, and the finish was beautifully composed. Bordeaux take the lead, now it's just a question of holding on. I think they need to be more direct now and just start getting the ball forward. Plays it out to the wing. Time is up, and there goes the whistle. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny, just a goal in it, but that was enough. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Look, we saw some textbook football from wide areas that continued to produce expansive attacking play that was ultimately too hard to handle. They were simply too good in, in the wide areas. And, you know, it was a real risk-and-reward approach that gave them the crucial advantage.